we're seeing tremendous uptake by brands and agencies, um, which is fantastic. And then, of course, consumer adoption of smartphones in general. Um, so those are the, the types of things that we're looking at as a corporation for forward momentum. We're experiencing a similar things that the adoption rate has been pretty high, and, and as the uh, um, as that trend continues, uh, we're uh, we're beginning to see that. Um, uh, the consumer also being more responsive to a variety of different ads, taking advantage of what's available in the marketing uh, channel via mobile, um, as well as uh, the content being personalized uh, for individual, taking advantage of some of the technologies that, that's uh, coming out or has been provided uh, through a variety of different uh, schemes. We're seeing some pretty significant I'd say predictions we had last year that are coming to fruition this year. Uh, so much more integrated campaigns, we're seeing larger spends, we're seeing mobile as an integral component of campaigns that are going out. Um, so if anything this year, this past six months and what we're seeing coming up in the next six or so is a much more increased spend, a lot of focus on personalization, a lot of focus on end user pull oriented kinds of applications and integrated campaigns overall. In some areas like messaging, we've seen a 300% growth in adoption by our brands and uh, partners like uh, like providers here on this panel. Uh, not only large brands, big retailers are beginning to adopt, but uh, now this is open to even smaller businesses that uh, can use this technology with uh, very simple and intuitive solutions to provide uh, more marketing uh, to their customers. What specific metrics are being used to measure where we are in this, uh, this growth curve? putting ourselves in the shoes of our customers, they see a number of unique users, time that those users spend in applications, and mobile phones and smartphones specifically, now uh, uh, the medium where consumers spend more time than anywhere else. They spend more time playing and working with a smartphone than watching TV or browsing through a magazine. Um, but the spend in terms of you know, marketing dollars is still more in the traditional media, but this is shifting very quickly. We look at it as points of engagement and level of engagement. So um, the number of exposures of a particular marketing campaign and then what are the end users responding with. Uh, so kinds of metrics that we would use in our business are if a QR code or if any other call to action was in a mobile marketing oriented call to action, how many people are actually responding to it. And we've seen some campaigns that are well into in under a one month period where it'll drive half a million points of engagement uh, where end users are reacting to or taking some action associated with what that mobile marketing call is. And that is a percentage of spend is up in full order of magnitude, sometimes double. Um, over what we were seeing even as recently as a year ago. Basically, uh, number of transactions is one of the one of the drivers, and uh, what uh, the other factors that we're looking is the uh, response time, um, as uh, as far as when uh, customers who have opt in to receive certain information. Once that information is in their hand, how long would it take for them to respond? Um, you know, or, or to come back with a with a call to action. And uh, those, uh, the timing, and once you start graphing those timing, it, it gives you some insight on, on, uh, on the activity and the campaign information. One of the things that we certainly look at is um, the speed of growth of app downloads. And um, we're seeing a, an enormous curve, hockey stick curve, on consumer uptake. Um, and then, as Igor had mentioned, um, we're also seeing a lot more engagement and interactions, so the number of actual consumer interactions that are happening.